State Docs Director Bob Hope came out here to watch the unloading and found instead an interunion dispute. It takes one man to operate the giant crane which unloads the containers from the ship, but two unions, the Brotherhood of Railroad Carmen and the International Longshoremen's Union, both claim one of their members must operate the crane. The ILA refused to work unless their man is crane operator. ILA officials say their agreement with the Mobile Steamship Association gave their union complete control of dockside unloading. Dock's director Hope said he heard of the problem some time ago and told the unions they would have to settle it themselves. Then he offered to pay a man from each union to run the crane jointly, but the ILA turned it down and refused to talk to the railroad union. We, are, uh, we don't work in conjunction with the railroad. Not even to get a ship like this unloaded and a container ship as important to the city of Mobile as this? Well, uh, Railroad Brotherhood knowed this uh, more than two months ago that this was ILA WEC and we have a contract for it and we're going to carry out our contract. The ILA finally agreed to unload the Leverkusen using cranes aboard the ship. The giant container crane was then moved out of the way. Director Hope said that would mean the unloading process would be slowed considerably. Hope said it also means the vitally needed container ship business may avoid the Port of Mobile until and if the dispute is settled. This is Bill Capo at the State Docks for Channel 10 Newsbeat.